Hey FlossTube, it's Jo here and welcome to video 6 on FlossTube. I'd like to say welcome to everybody, I hope you're all well, I hope you had a fantastic Christmas. It's been and it's gone, it went by so quick. I spent it alone, which wasn't all bad, I spent it in my pyjamas. I spent it in my pyjamas and I stitched all day and I watched films and I ate loads of food so it was all good in the end it was nice and chilled and yeah i really enjoyed it so i'd like to say welcome to some new subscribers i got um a fair few new subscribers so um thank you for um coming and spending some time with me and i'd like to say welcome back to everybody that's already seen my videos and yeah um i just want to say thank you again i love your comments i'll always reply and yeah let's see what i ended up doing then in december so on monday the 3rd of december i decided that i was going to start a magazine pattern it's a shannon and christian designs i will insert the picture here And the last time, my last video, I mentioned that I was planning on doing it on Navy Ada. That didn't quite work out how I planned. Um, when I got the Ada out and I looked at it, it was too small. It wouldn't fit on it. So I panicked. Um, I don't have a large stash of fabric. I normally buy the fabric I need for the the the, the um, design that I'm starting. So I rummaged through what little I had and I managed to find some 14 count white Ada. So that's what I started it on and yeah, it wasn't a good day. So the Navy Ada didn't fit. I found some 14 count white Ada and I miscounted, um, which isn't bad. It'll fit on the fabric, but it's squashed to one side. Um, I got the height and the width mixed up. It's probably because I was stressing about it, but this is as far as I got. So this is actually the full width as a design. So I've got all this space over here and I've started over here. But yeah, so I worked on it for five days. I started in the tower, worked my way down. This is all cry neck and beads that's missing here. And then I did the black background Work my way over to the pumpkin carriage. So yeah, not my finest counting moment, um, but when I do frame it, um, I'll just attach some fabric on this side so I can lace it into the frame. But yeah, that was my start on the 3rd of December. So... At the weekend, that weekend, I worked on a whip. I worked on the, um, I worked on the Jorin Jones um, Peacock Cross Stitch Gold. I'll show you in a bit um, because I worked on it the following weekend and the weekend after that as well. I worked on it for three weekends. So I'll show you that when we get a bit further into the month, but that's what I worked on at the weekend. Um, Monday the 10th I started John Elliott's Oriental Lady. I picked Wisdom which is the one that's off the front of the book. I decided to do her on 16 count white Ada and I've lost her, she's here. I'm doing the colourful colours. And that was my start. So when I started it, I thought I was going to do um, all the black outline first. And then I thought, if I carry on doing this, I'm going to miscount and we're going to end up with some issues later on. So um, I started to fill in the leaves and then did the fan, started to fill in the fan and then this is a head. I was struggling to work on it to be honest. I am um, I'm not a fan of working out of books. Um 
I like to highlight as I go along so I feel like I'm getting somewhere I don't know I find it's I find it strangely satisfying colouring in little squares of stitches that I've already done oh sorry my legs got to sleep <laughs> I'm gonna end up with pins and needles now oh um yeah I'm I like to highlight where I am and um where I've stitched and feel like I'm getting somewhere so I do struggle with books um I could have printed it out um I mean photocopied it but I haven't got any ink in a printer at the moment so um yeah I just struggled to um to stitch on that so I need to get some ink for my printer um next time I pick it up so that I can uh, photocopy the page and then can highlight and hopefully it should go a little bit quicker I think it's just because you're not highlighting you end up recounting stitches you've already stitched to make sure that you're in the right place before you start the next section um and it becomes a little, it becomes a little bit of um a little bit of a task but yeah I managed to get some stitches in it and I'll uh, pick her up again when um she starts calling to me so um Monday the 17th I started a internet pattern it's a free pan it was a free pattern off Tilton Crafts it's the Cupcake Dreams it might still be there I haven't checked um it was only a couple of months ago that I got this the possibility of it still being there is quite high and when I mentioned this in my last video I mentioned that the obviously the cupcake is this section here and the background is B5200 I wasn't too sure if I was going to do it on Ada and if I was going to do it on Ada I was going to do it I was going to stitch the white background I had the idea of possibly stitching it on green fabric and then not having to stitch the white I had decided to just stitch it on Ada um actually I think I stitched I've stitched it on even wheel I think it's 22 count or 20 count um I didn't have enough time to get green fabric so yeah I started that and this is I can't believe I'm going to show this <laughs> um there's not much to see because I spent five days <laughs> I spent five days stitching white stitches so yeah so you can see there I'm working diagonally down 100, um, 100 stitches blocks this is where the cupcake starts so I'm not too far off getting some, getting some colour in I'm going to put this down because nobody wants to just look at white stitches on white fabric um, so yeah I'm doing 100 stitching blocks diagonally down um, and I'm just about to get into the colour of the cupcake so yeah I just put on a I just put on a load of films and just mindless stitched, not paying attention. Um it was a nice break from confetti, but I'll be happy to get some colour into it at some point. So yeah, that was that one. Then Monday the 24th, I started Indian Peacock by Dimensions. It's a kit. I worked on it all day Monday, and then on the Tuesday, I started a little pattern for Christmas Day. So I will, and then for the rest of the week, I went back to Indian Peacock. So I'll show you Indian Peacock in a minute. But on Christmas Day, I mentioned that I was either going to start Mirabilia's. Um, Christmas elegance or I was planning on doing um, lavender and lace gift of peace I already had Maria, Mar Blair, Mirabilia's Christmas in London started so I was thinking that lavender and lace would probably be a better one to start um, because I don't have a lavender and lace so that's what I decided to do I decided to start gift of peace so this is what it looks like sorry if there's a glare so I worked on it for the one day I'm doing it on the call for fabric which is 32 count Lagana and that's how far I got with Santa So this is part of his heart, um, around his neck, this is his 
beard. I'm just getting into his face, which is here. So yeah, a day's worth of stitching. In between eating mince pies and cheese and crackers and yeah, pate and all the all the good things that we eat on Christmas. So yeah, back then we went back to Indian peacock, and I worked on it till Friday yesterday. Worked on it till yesterday, and. I'm using the fabric that it came with, which I believe is, might be 16 count Ada, it could possibly be 14. Fourteen count Ada. Oops, small for 14. Um and I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> there it is. And that's where I got up to. So I started in the middle. This is the bottom of one page. Worked my way up, did some of the peacock, and then I worked up and did some of the background. And I'm actually, I don't know. He's coming along. So yeah, that was that. So, That was everything that I stitched on new start wise and then as I mentioned I was working on at the weekends so last video and the video before I was saying that I was going to work on a project in the morning for an hour or two which was going to be my focus piece then I worked on then I would work on my new start for that week and then in the evening um, I would spend an hour or two working on whatever I wanted um, as my evening piece. I mentioned that I was going to stitch the colourful tree which was my very first start of my 55 new starts and that lasted two days and I just I couldn't do it I couldn't stitch on it it had been calling to me for ages and I pulled it out and I started stitching on it and I was just like I can't do this I've decided that three projects a day is just way too much it's stressing me out so I've decided I'm going to scrap that idea and I'm going to go to just the two. So I'll work on my new start and then I'll have the one that I want to work on in the evening for a couple of hours. So that's what I'm going to do going forward. So from the beginning of December up until the 20, up until the 19th of December, the one that I worked on in the evenings and at weekends was the Jorin Jones cross stitch gold issue 139 um the peacock it's not showing you the pattern that one and I'm happy to say and you might have seen this on Stitch Mania if you are on Stitch Mania I try not to show my finishes um, I try to save them for the videos, but I was so pleased with it, I had to share it. So yes, I did. I finished it. I did all the beading, all the back stitching, and I'm so oh, I can't I can't even describe how much I love this. But. There she is so we've got gold beads round there we've got blue beads in and yeah I 
I'm absolutely over the moon with it. Now the only thing I changed was the eye should have been a French knot so I changed that and then here and the end bits here these blue ones here they should have been French knots and I just used the same colour as what was in there so yeah so there is my peacock and it's finished and I cannot wait to get it framed I cannot wait to get it framed so and it's going in my living room it's going on the opposite wall to here um, which I'll show you when um, when it's framed and put on the wall so yeah so I finished that so that was a finish then I pulled out snowdrops from the flowers in cross stitch and I have done a look through um, video for this um, so you can see what else is in the book and I was doing which is I've lost it I need to put a piece of paper so it's the snowdrops I was doing it on 18 count Ada and I also finished that as well so yeah so that's another finish so two finishes for December I didn't think I'd get anything done I had no plans of getting anything stitched but And that was that. And then the other thing that I worked on was the black and white mask that I was doing, which was an artisan picture or artisan pattern. It was a free one. It was on their Facebook page. I believe it's still there. If you join the Facebook page and you go onto files, they have um, free cross stitch patterns, which is absolutely fantastic. So this is what she will look like. I mentioned that I'm only doing the mask without the face and without the feathers. Um, I am struggling with it because there's no um, real indication of where the end of the mask is and where the feathers start. It's not too bad around here because obviously the face is pretty much white. So you can see the difference between the mask and the, the face but around the feathers is quite difficult so I'm just taking it slow and working my way out from the middle so I'll insert a picture where I was last time with that and I will now show you where I'm up to it's not a finish <laughs> going to take a little bit longer but make I made some good progress on it I'm doing it on 16 count white Ada I'm trying to figure out which way is up and which way is down <laughs> and this is where I'm up to now so that's the bottom of the mask this is around the nose area which I'm really struggling with I've kind of found the edge and I'm working my way up a little bit but that's where she's up to and now she's going to go away yeah so that is everything that I stitched on in the month of December so this and that'll take us up to Monday's new start which is the 31st and then into January so my plans my 2019 plans 
So I'll tell you what I'm going to stitch in January. And then in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to do a video of all the finishes that I've done in 2018. And then I'm going to do another video, which will be a whip parade. And so you can see what I have, uh, what projects I have that was already started before I started doing the 55 new starts. And then you'll see, obviously, the ones that I've already started for the 55 new starts. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm obviously still in the middle of my 55 starts. I'm nearly halfway there and I'm going to be going up until August with that. So once we get to August, then I am going to spend from August up until Christmas of 2019 um, stitching on whatever I want to stitch on that I've already started and seeing what I can get finished. So there's no great plans. I'm hoping to do um i'm hoping to finish 12 projects next year one a month which i think is doable um so yeah one a month um i might end up doing more than that i can't see me doing less than that so that's the plan for next year um obviously the 55 starts will take me up until august so that's my plan so for january hang on for the 31st of December, which is Monday, I'm going to do moon hair. I mentioned that in my last video. I believe it was a Heaven and Earth Designs. It is in a issue of Cross Stitch Gold. I'm not too sure which one it is. I will insert a picture of what it will look like here. And I'm going to do that on 18 Count Ada. I've ordered the floss for it, so that's coming in the next couple of days. Well, it's supposed to be coming on Monday, so um, I've got some of the colours I can start on Monday morning and then I should get the others on um, Monday afternoon. So that's that plan. Then on the 1st of January, which I will be starting my New Year's new start, I will only be working on it for one day and then I'll be going back to Moon Hair. But I am going to be starting... Oh, I can't wait to start this. Um, I have had this pattern for over a year probably a year and a half and I haven't started it and it, I bought it when I discovered Stitch Mania on Facebook and um, I discovered the website and a lady and I don't know what her name was she posted a finished fractal pattern that she'd done from cross stitch collectibles and i was just like oh my god that's stunning so i immediately was enabled and went on to um cross stitch collectibles uh website and looked at their fractal patterns and i found one that i absolutely fell in love with and bought it and it's been sat in my stash for nearly a year and a half probably two just about two years and um yeah, I'm going to start it on, this, on uh, January the 1st and this is the one that I'm starting. So I'm doing an 18 count Ada gridded. I'm going to do obviously the core four colours. So yeah, so that's what I'm starting on that day and then I'm going to go back to the um, moon hair. Then on Monday the 7th of... January. I keep wanting to say December. It's January. We're coming. We're coming out of December. <laughs> it's Jane Netley Matthews cross stitch, and you would have seen this if you watched Jessie Marie because Jessie Marie is doing this one, and she names it AKA Nicki Minaj because the elephant's got a big butt. And I am going to be starting it and that's what it looks like. So yeah, so that's my book pattern that I'll be starting. Then on the 14th, Monday the 14th, I will be starting a pattern called Al Visitor. It's an RTC pattern. It was a free pattern. It's my last free pattern of RTC that I'm going to be doing and I will insert a picture here.
again I'm going to be doing it on 18 count header so that'll be that start on Monday the 21st I will be starting a kit pattern and this I managed to get off my stitchy um, unicorn list um, I was looking for it I went on to the Instagram um, page of people that are looking for patterns um, and a lovely lady sent me this and the other four the other three because it's a set of four and it is the Janlin winter sampler it's a retired pattern but yeah I cannot wait to start that and then that'll bring me to Monday the 28th and it's a magazine pattern and I am going to be stitching which I'll insert a picture here and it's Teresa Lensler's Magical Night and I'm really looking forward to doing that one as well so that's my plans for January so like I said there's going to be a video coming in the next week of my finishes for 2018 and then a video of my whip parade and yeah that's pretty much it that's all my stitching that I've done and my plans for January so yeah that's everything um a little bit of a life update I have been going out I've been out a few times now um, been around some of the local shops my occupational therapist has been absolutely wonderful um, I've had a few outings of about half an hour to an hour we went in a cafe and I had a hot chocolate with cream and marshmallows which was absolutely wonderful obviously that stopped now until the 7th of January because of obviously the holidays so um, but yeah it's been really good I've been really pleased with my progress um, it's been so nice to be able to get out and you know be in the community and see things and yeah it's um, it's an exciting time I'm looking forward to getting myself well again and being able to just do things that every, people do every day you know without even thinking about and yeah I'm I'm excited for what 2019 holds so I'll uh, keep you updated and um, yeah I hope you all have a fantastic January that you know all good things start for you in 2019 um, happiness and love and family and peace and you know all the things that we deserve is you know because there's a lot of sad things out there in the world and everybody needs something to look forward to and have um, you know nice memories and yeah so I'll leave you because I'm just gonna start I'm starting to ramble um, so take care I'd love to um, see comments and um, yeah, bye for now. Much love. Bye.